Remember, couldn't get a 20 from my mom. Now I drop 20 on the lap because I'm on. I feel the love when I'm riding through the city, but I see him looking at me, pray the bullets don't hit me from the side. Yeah, but legends never die, you know. Yeah, good weed in my lungs, and you know where I'm at. Straight from the slums, and I can't go back. No, I won't go back. No, I keep on the road for my dead homies. Okay, now answer, I stop man, rapid fire Popo wanna break a down, rapid fire Open for a better round, rapid fire Fria, fria, ba 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 Okay, now answer, I stop Bum to baddie transformation, y'all, who's ready? So today I have a bum to baddie transformation for you guys By the time we're done, I'm gonna be looking fleeky, okay? Okay, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure you give it a like, a comment, and you make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Let's just get right into it because I'm ready to beat my face up and look like a baddie, period. So before we get into the face, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera because I really hate doing my eyebrows on camera. It's just too much of a hassle. So yeah, if you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, make sure you leave a comment down below. Okay y'all, so we're done with my brows. It literally took me like... 30 minutes to get my brows done I'm telling y'all brows are so annoying like comment down below what your least favorite part of doing your makeup is mine is definitely my eyebrows and I think putting on lashes so as y'all can see I have my hair pinned back because it just makes everything easier when I'm getting my face done and before I started the video I had already primed my face I used my glam glow primer so now the fun part doing my face let's get started the one thing that i like to do is i like to take my translucent tinting powder from laura mercier and i like to just set around my smile lines because my smile lines crease really really bad and i kind of hate it so i'm just gonna set around it but next i'm just gonna get right into my foundation I use a Fenty Beauty foundation and I'm in the color 450. I'm just gonna pump some in the back of my hands. Wait, shake it first. Don't forget to shake it. Taking the buffing brush from Real Techniques, I'm just going to take some of the foundation and buff it all in my face using stippling motions. And I like to start around my around my mouth. And then work my way around that. After using my brush to apply the foundation all over my face, I like to go back in with my beauty blender and just make sure that I set everything in a little bit more. So next I like to go in and do my concealer and today I'm also going to be using the Fenty Beauty concealer in the color 430. I just went two colors down. Pray the bullets don't hit me from the side. Yeah, but that just never die, you know. Yeah, good weed in my lungs. You know where I'm at. Straight from the slums and I can't go back. No, I A little bit of this concealer goes a very long way, so you don't really need that much, but me personally, I like to put a lot because that's I'm just extra. And then I like to go in the color 450, which is the same color as my foundation, and I like to just go around my mouth again where my smile lines are. And I like to let my concealer sit for a little bit because I just feel like when I'm blending it out, I'm getting my product, like I'm getting what I'm paying for when I let it sit, you know. It sits and it, it gets a little thicker and then I can just blend it in easy. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my contour. 
And I'm also using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the color Espresso. As y'all can see, I use a lot of Fenty Beauty. Now that my concealer has sat for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. I'm gonna go in and apply my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Amand and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes also. Remember couldn't get a 20 from my mom Now I drop 20 on the lap cause I'm out I feel the Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer again in the color 450 And I'm going to reverse contour under my cheeks And I'm gonna use a, the same buffing brush that I used to put on my foundation To blend that in I know this is like Fenty Beauty Overload, but I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in the color Honey, and I'm going to set under my eyes. I just realized that I forgot to highlight my nose and my forehead, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm using 430 to highlight my nose, and I'm going to use 450 to highlight my forehead. I'm going to take the setting powder, and I'm going to reverse contour under my cheeks. And I'm going to try to make it even, because I can never get it to be even. So to contour my face, I'm going to be using my True Complexion Contour Palette in the color Medium to Dark. So since this is more of a warm colored contour, I'm also going to go in with my Ruby Kisses Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking this color right here which is the darkest color in the palette and I'm going to be taking another brush oh to contour the, just now I used a Wet n Wild brush and now I'm going to be using this e.l.f. bronzing brush and I'm going to go under the under contour that I just did this gives me more of the grayer shades which actually creates a contour and makes your face look kind of chiseled. Now I'm just going to clean off all the powder that I used under here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my nose and my forehead with setting powder. I'll, I'm not gonna show y'all my blush because it's a bit like torn up. I do like to apply blush. Today for eyeshadow we're going to be using the, Nub the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place 
and we're literally only going to be using two colors y'all okay guys so I went ahead and did one of my eyes off camera and now I'm going to do the other eye and show you guys exactly what I did so I went in and took the color right here called Morocco I just use that as my crease shade and I'm just going to apply that all over my crease and you want it to be as pigmented as possible I'm literally just putting it all over my crease it doesn't really need to look perfect because it's just a really simple look and I'm also going to take it and kind to and kind of bring it down to my lower lash line and sweep it out and there we go then I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the color Jezebel which is more of like a maroon color and I'm going to just put that all over my lid and I'm gonna go back into the orange color and just blend it together using the orange color and that's literally it the other thing that I'm gonna do is take the maroon color and put it under my lash on my lower lash line So today for highlighter, I'm using my Becca Cosmetics highlighter in the color Topaz. And I'm going to just put a little bit on my finger to highlight my nose and the bridge of my nose. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of angled. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that. And to blend that all together, I'm just going to take a brush that has no product on it and just blend around the edges where the color, where the eyeshadow and the highlighters meet. So, be right back. I'm going to put some lashes on, add a little bit of bottom mascara, and I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm feeling cute or whatever. I'm about to show you guys what lip combo that I'm going to be doing. This is my everyday lip combo. I love this lip combo. If you know me, you know that I'm always wearing chocolate lipstick. I just really love it, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So first, I'm going to be taking this Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick by L'Oreal in the color Les Chocolates. Les Chocolates, okay? I don't know what it's, how to say it, but I think it's Les Chocolates. And outline my lips with it. Next, I'm going to go on with my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the color Unveil, and I'm going to put that on the inside. And I'm just going to take a brush and blend them both in so that we have like a smooth transition. And I also want to keep the edges a bit darker. I'm going to add my NYX Butter Gloss in the color... I think it's ginger snap or play or praline. I think it's ginger snap. So that is the end of this video today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And tell me what your least favorite part is of doing your makeup. Bye guys!